Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, today will be a super helpful video guys to any of you having any of the following three vehicles, I'm talking about Porsche Cayenne, Audi Q7, Volkswagen Turek, what's common between those, they're built on the same platform, so many of the parts, many of the fixes on those things will be exactly the same. Before we start, let me tell you what we'll be doing. If you guys have windshield washer, sprayer, okay, that's not spraying, you try to clean your windshield and the sprayers do not spray, windshield fluid is not coming out, we'll explain guys the top three things that can cause that. Make sure you stay until the end. Before we start, let me tell you guys, if you need to buy any parts or tools, we'll share the links in the description of the video below where you can get all that for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Another thing, every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video so let's explain what we have here guys 2006 Cayenne that's what we'll be working on but practically the same for the other vehicles as well now those are wi your windshield spray nozzles okay right here you can see one on this side one on the other side if you do not have any fluid coming out, okay, what can cause that? Very simple, guys. Okay, you can see right here, that's your hose coming, okay, for the windshield sprayers. Okay, it's right here, and it goes, and it spreads to the other side. The hose drops to here, so if you remove your fender liner, okay, we have a video that explains how to replace windshield washer reservoir, so you can check that there. If you remove the fender liner, we'll come to the windshield washer reservoir, which is located right here. And if you come on the bottom of that reservoir is where your windshield washer pump is located. This device, okay, right here. So, at that point, guys, okay, what I'll recommend, okay, the connector for the pump is here. You can disconnect it. Uh, you may have a bad pump. The easiest thing to test that is remove the pump, connect it to a 12-volt power supply, and see if it turns. If it turns, okay, it means that it's a good pump. If it's spinning fast, it's a good pump. Now, if it doesn't, it's a bad pump. If the pump checks out fine and you still don't get spraying, guys, okay, it could be even the valve, okay, right here. That's the uh, two-directional valve, okay, so the pump can turn left or right and one, one uh, way will spray for the front windshield, the, the other way will be for the rear glass. So, sometimes it could be the reason there. If the pump is making noise and you're still not getting, okay, fluid, it's very likely that you have a bad valve. But if you guys okay actually are leaking fluid somewhere but you're still not getting fluid you have a bad hose so you need to disconnect the hose right here okay you will need to i think this one is for the front the one on the rear get the hose okay replace it and that should take care of the problem but if the pump is good and you st it still doesn't work what i recommend guys you need to test your fuse and if the fuse is good, you need to test your windshield wiper switch and we'll have a video how to test that as well. Really easy, okay, with the help of voltmeter or with a computer. You can do it both ways and it takes only a few seconds practically. So those are guys the top reasons why, uh, why a Porsche Cayenne, Audi Q7 or Volkswagen Turek doesn't spray from the windshield uh, sprayers, guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.